going back out there in the clubs like I did when I was in, in other places. Even though I was going to church, I wasn't really staying up on it, staying connected with people, like-minded people. And even when you go to church, it's hard to find like-minded people. People put on the face, you know, they can study what they can study from the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, but they don't understand that you are that book that's supposed that's read of men who don't have no relationship with God. You have people that go to church and they don't understand the premise of you is to change you is how God teach you. You reflect this is this is biblical because that's what Christ Christ had the disciples to do was like once I give this to you, you go out there and feed people what I give you. But it's funny when it comes to people. See, disciples did what they supposed to do when it comes to people studying. The disciples in church, they don't want to do the same thing. They want to be selective and picky. You got some people they put on the front. They they, they only want to do it just to make themselves look good in front of pastor or in front of people. But they don't do it for God. They do it in vanity. They want to do it just to be seen. But they don't want to do it. They, some people do it for the wrong reasons. You got some people who are biased, who is prejudiced in church. I've seen that among in some churches here. What I've seen how people are territorial when it comes to black people. Because they don't you ain't grew up in the same block as them. I went to a Latino church because you ain't you ain't Latino. You don't speak their language, whatever. You're black, American. I've been to a you know, I've seen this in a white church. I've seen some things like that where people kind of stand offish. But they'll put a they'll put a face on for Christ. Nick, you think they have Christ? Some people do this. Not all. And I've seen this even in being at a church where there's Africans at too. Not all people like that. So it is a depressing process. It, it is. And so I know what you go through. So some people they go back out there to the world. They go back out there to sin. Because they, they, they didn't allow the nurturing of God to, to, to keep up with, with this individual. This is the truth. And a lot of people sinking deep in the no one call and check on them. It's like the people you see that's in the nursing homes, the people you see out there on the streets, and there's homelessness, that's slipping under a bridge trying to figure out how they're going to keep warm. You see people that's in the latter stages of their mind in the nursing home because they don't, they don't know if, they don't know where they're at. And the only people that is like a family member to them is the staff until they die, to, as they deteriorate. This is the truth. I've seen this. I've seen people, with, you know, and heard their story, how they was re rejected, and uh, so I know what I I know what it's like from every angle, every possible, and sometimes before I came to here, it was amazing. There were some people that saw what was in me, but because God showed them what the pain I went through on the inside, He said. You've been through so much pain, brother. How did you you survive it? How did you hold on and hold all that pain in to the point it was supposed to kill you? Yeah, because see, it's either going to make you, take you down in your mind or it's going to take you down in your physical body. Stress, the rest, depression, it does take a toll on you. It ages you, you know. Some people gain weight. Some people lose weight. Some people lose their hair. And eventually, it, it, it's to you, you weed it out till you die. And you just want to die. Because it's like you're all alone. You're all by yourself. And there's a lot of people that feel... And I've, 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 there's times in my time, I life, I felt like that. You know, some people you just want to cut away, you know. And no one knows the pain but the one who create, put you in your mouth. Nobody knows that pain. Nobody knows that pain but him. No one knows if you did something embarrassing. 
it's completely embarrassing or you messed up. Maybe you lost your job or you got fired from your job. You got laid from your job. Maybe it was something, it could be something that is going to be drastic. And it feel like it ain't, it don't look like it's going to turn around. And, but it, I say this, it, it, whatever it is, if it's embarrassing at a point, it's not going to last for long. And even though the enemy will tell you, yeah, you just, you just as dumb and ignorant and, and whatever he tells you, don't believe it. Sometimes he'll use people and say, yeah, I remember when you was at da 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 Some people and, and eagerly do it. Don't take it personal. Uh, I, I understand because there's been many times. And when I came to Columbus, man, you know, this one, I, I met someone who was like my mentor. And she was a woman that mentored me. And her name is Pauline. And she told me, she said, God has not left you. And when, when she said that, I remember the shock, the look, because the reason why is because as a person, as an individual, you've always been rejected, pushed to, to the outskirts. You think that God just wants a certain type of people. And, and this person must, must draw all the crowds to they, it must be God with this person. Look well, look how beautiful this woman is. Look how handsome this guy is. Look how charisma this person is. Look how popular this person is. God must be with them. Look 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 at the blessing. Look at the look at the housing and the car. And they got all these things and, and, and it's attracting people. And it looked like it is. And it seemed like you an individual, you just you you outskirt. You like the trees. You feel like you're just a scenery. So, and then when you do step into scenery, you get a kind of a hostile look. It's like, oh, oh, whatever. Keep it moving, peasant. Oh yeah, we everybody. Let me tell you, everybody's been some been through that. So, it it takes some time to get through that. I, I recall, you know, even standing in, in, in church one time and people just standing and how people just stood away because they wanted to be a, particularly around their own group of people. And I remember that I felt so hurt that I can't even get people that can't even stand in and greet me in prayer with me. They We can't even hold hands and stand not in agreement before Jesus, before the Almighty God. Because these folks got so much, oh, you're not in my clique. Oh, you're not in my family. Oh, you don't speak the same secondary language. Oh, you, you're not, you don't have a brand new car. Oh, you have, you don't look, you, you're not prominence because I'm looking to get around the popular people, make friends with them. Oh, can I speak it? And it's right. And sometimes and you figure that would be the last place. You see it in the world. You understand it's in the world. It's on your job. It could be at your school. It could be in your neighborhood. But it's like, wow. Here? In church? In some churches? Yes. And people will reveal it. There's not too many people are going to go out to, to and above for you. They're not going to love you. It takes a certain type of person in a church that's filled with God's love. Not everybody in church got the love of God. That's the truth. Not everybody you think that they put on, they're just doing it for their own reasons. They want to impress people. There's some people, there's some people, you know, they do, but they're not doing it for God. They're doing it for their own, for their own gain. And some type, and I've seen it. And people think that other people don't, don't, who never been to church don't discern this because it's the same spirit is out there in the world. It's the same it's the same spirit is out there in the world that some people bring in. You got it on your job. You got you, it could be your neighbor. It could be a, a total stranger come up to you. With, it, you. It could be if you go to school or college, someone's coming for some re reason to come to see what they gain and get out of you.
It could be someone in your extended family, someone you know in your past that come all of a sudden you run into and they and they want to know they want to get something around you and then once they get get, get it out of you they cast you to a side like your, your, your used furniture or your garbage people they don't say it but they display it and how they display it is that way how do I know how do I know it's because I've seen it throughout all my life and I'm in my 50s. I've seen it throughout my whole life. But I want to let you know that this is how I can understand to the point that you can feel so low as a human being, you feel like you don't even feel human no more. And if God didn't have to put, came in and touched my life and let me know that, yeah, I know, I know your walk. I know, I, I've seen your your time and he's been there in the hurtful times the times you know not have enough not resources money whatever it is not being part in how people rejected you and not accepted you he knows all that he know he he knows and that's what I went through and I couldn't believe it. it's like wow this all mighty God that I've read about, that I've gone to church and studied, care about me? Care, care, how is this? It's 50 billion people on the planet. How is the world? He knows about me. I'm, I'm just, I'm not, I'm one of the outcast. You've been taught, you've been shown and th that you're an outcast. All your life you've been shown you're an outcast. Until he come knocking at the door of your heart. And he sends some people to let you know. I've always loved you. I've been looking at you from the whole time. I've been waiting for you to come back. I've been one. I want you the choice for you to give your life, because I can give you the love that no nothing on this planet can give give you the love that I can give you. And this is what every individual need to know that, no matter who you are, it don't matter if you somebody that like it is deformed or get a dis a physical. Uh, a learned disability, a physical disability, whatever. You're not even physically attractive. It doesn't matter. And like I said, in the eyes, of, you may not be popular. You may not be, the, like I said, the beautifulest woman or the handsomest per man. Oh, it doesn't matter. Or a child. It doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, you're still a jewel in God's eye. You still